This video is sponsored by TunnelBear, the VPN service that makes it easy for you to enjoy a private and fast internet browsing experience. Click the link below to get started today. Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are on the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. This is the latest model running iOS 12. So we are going to take a look at some new features with iOS 12 and check out how they look on the iPad. So one thing that I noticed first with uh, iOS 12 running on the iPad was I went to go and do a um, go to the control center or you know look at my um, overall apps that were running and I noticed that it's very much like the iPhone 10 now. You see that we don't have the control center here on the right hand side. This is specifically when you go up and to the right or up, um, you will basically come with, uh, you will come to the app switcher. So that is definitely something new and something that I didn't really see Apple kind of um, play on on their WWDC live event. So that is something new. We have the um, time and date here on the left hand corner. Um, and then the control center type looking um, icon here on the right with all the battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So it's very much like the iPhone 10, which actually leads me to believe that maybe if we turn this orientation this way, we might be seeing an iPad with a sort of um, indentation like the iPhone 10 here on the top. So make sure you keep that in mind for future iOS 12 beta updates because we might be seeing more hints or clues as to why they have made this kind of status bar the way it is. Now one thing is you might be asking how do we get to our control center? We can't access it anywhere um, throughout uh, the iOS if, it, if we don't go um, via the app switcher here. So if we don't have access to it there, obviously we have to do what we are doing on the iPhone 10, which is swipe up, down from the right side here. So there we have our control center. Now this is very interesting because that doesn't look as clean as what it you know how it looked before, but it does um, it does feel clean. You know when we when we just swipe down from the top there. I like it personally, but there's a lot of times where I I like to swipe up and access the control center from the bottom. So. I think that this will get uh, take some getting used to. Um, you know, you can swipe from both sides here. The notification will be on the left, and then on the right there will be the control center. So definitely keep that in mind as we move forward. It looks like we might be um, looking at a design that is uh, like the iPhone 10, but more for the iPad in the future. So hopefully, future iPad Pro will have that. Um, in the settings app, if we go down to the wallpaper here, um, I featured this wallpaper on the iPhone 10 when I was doing my kind of overview on that. But you can go ahead and download this. I'll have a link, a link down in the description below where you can get this wallpaper. But also, if you are running iOS 12, go ahead and um, get this via the wallpapers menu in the settings app. This looks really cool. I'm liking the, the new look here and hopefully they'll have some more for us coming real soon. Now, one thing that I didn't show on the iPhone 10 was actually um, the group notifications, which I'll go over later in another video specifically for the iPhone 10. But if you wanna take a quick look here, um, obviously we have the group notifications. Um, we can pair them together. We can go look at the group notifications. We can um, delete them here. We can either clear or send it back up, show less, stuff like that. So um, we also have like we can manage it and we can uh, choose to deliver quietly, turn off. We can go to the settings and kind of configure the notif notifications. So this is really cool. I'll do a whole video featuring these group notifications and kind of like the new notification center uh, because I think it deserves its own video. So definitely stay tuned for more content surrounding that feature. And thank you for watching this video. Again, there will be tons more videos on iOS 12 on both the iPad and the iPhone 10 here. And we'll be featuring a lot of the new features that you've been seeing today and keeping up with iOS 12 content. So stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next iOS 12 related video. Peace out. Thank you.